Hello, in this video, you're gonna learn how to place your Qi coils and how to configure them, how to use the yin and yang coils to get different effects on your mind and your body. So what a lot of people don't know is that you get different effects on how you place the coils, where you place them, which way they face and which configuration you use. By the way, I created a PDF guide that you can download and you can print out so you can use it for easy reference as you're using your Qi coils. Let's start with the basics. So what's the difference between the yin and the yang coils? So the yin coils are marked with a sticker that says yin, Another way to tell whether a coil is yin is that it goes counterclockwise going into the center. Now the yang coil is the opposite. So usually they'll be labeled with the yang and they'll go clockwise going from the outside into the middle. So now you get that there's yin and yang coils. But did you know that there's also a front and a back? If you got one of our new Qi coil systems, they will actually have a label front for the front. If you have one of our older Qi coil systems and they don't have the label front, then keep watching because I'm gonna show you how you can tell which is the front or the back. So here's the chart I was talking about. Let's start with a single coil. So you can see here in the legend that yin coil is red and yang coil is blue. So let's just go down here and take a look at the main effects. So if you use this yin coil in these configurations, you get a raising of energy and you get to awaken yourself. If you use the yin coil in these configurations, you get deep healing. And if you use the yang coil in this configuration, you get qi energy activation, clarity, and focus. So for this effect, raising energy and awakening, there's actually two ways of placing it. You can either place it with configuration A or configuration B. The difference is minor, but basically you get the same main effect. So as you can see in this diagram, in configuration A, you're holding the yin coil in front of your navel, which is your belly button, and the front is facing your body. And in configuration B, you have the yin coil flat horizontally, so you can place it in front of your navel, you can hold it there, you can put it in front of you on the floor or you can put it on the table in front of you. So as long as the front of the coil is facing up, you got this configuration. So in both these configurations, you get this effect, raising energy and awakening. And some other effects that you may feel is you may feel happy, bright, joyful, expanded awareness, and heat spreading around your body. Now, if you use the yin coil the other direction, so for example, in configuration A, it's facing away from you. And in configuration B, it's facing downwards while it's horizontal then you get an effect of deep healing, relaxation, you'll feel sleepy, melting, or sinking. Heat will also spread around your body and you'll feel a sense of aura cleansing. So remember when I mentioned, if you don't have the label that says front on your Qi coil, how you can tell which one is the front or the back is just take the yin coil and just flip it one way or another and then see if you can feel that effect. So for example, if you don't know what it is, you can just place it on the table in front of you horizontally. And if you're feeling an awakening of your energy, then that means that it's facing up. But if you're feeling a deep relaxation and a sinking energy, and you're feeling a little bit sleepy, then that means it's facing down. So once you test it out, the frequency that you want to use to test is regenerate 50%. And just flip it back and forth and see which feeling matches up with the chart. Once you found out which side is the front, just mark it with a sticker and you'll know which is the front. The reason we only show this configuration and not the other way flipped around because the other way actually doesn't feel that great. So that's why we only included these two configurations the yang coil facing the body and the yang coil facing up. And the main effect you're gonna receive is qi energy activation, clarity and focus. Also an expanded mind awareness, get activation, you'll feel your posture improving and you'll feel a cooling heat sensation. Now let's talk about advanced ways of using the yin and the yang coil together. So if you use both yin and yang together, you get very profound effects that's even more powerful than the single coil. So I've discovered six main different configurations that you can use with both yin and the yang coil, all with different effects. And on this chart, I rank them in the order of what I feel is the best from my personal experience. So the main effects here are aligned energy, connected and confident, deep relaxation and mood lift, deep sleep, meditation, consciousness, expansion, motivation and focus, and ultra centered. So let's start with the first one. This is my favorite. It's the aligned, energized and connected and confident. Now, before I show you this one, make sure that you're using this on low power only because it involves putting the yang coil on top of your head. Now I know that in another video I said, don't put the Qi coil on your head. And the reason for that is because your brain is very sensitive to electromagnetic fields. So when you're using this configuration, make sure you're using very low power. So something like 20 or 30%. So this is pretty simple. If you got the yin and the yang, and you know what the front is, then you place the yang facing downwards on top of your head and you place the yin facing upwards below your seat. Now if you're lying down, you can place one on your head and one at the feet. Or if you're sitting down, you can place the yin facing up on the seat and you can place the yang on your head. So you can just put the yang directly on your head. If you're good at balancing, then you can just keep it there. Another thing I'd like to do is actually wear a hat and then put this on top of the hat so it actually stays on them better. And as another option, you can lie down flat on the ground and you can put these at the head and at the feet. So according to the chart, you put this above your head and below your seat. 
You put the yang coil above your head, front down, or the, and the yin coil below your perineum or below your feet, front facing up. Other effects that you'll feel is heaven and earth alignment, chakra alignment and balancing. You feel awake and clear. Your lower body relaxes and sinks, and your spine lengthens and straightens. So if you do Tai Chi or Qigong or even yoga, this will sound familiar to you because you want to lengthen up your spine, you want the upper body to stretch up, and you want your lower body to relax and sink down to the ground. Then you get this sensation called Zhang Ding, which is the ultimate centeredness, alignment, and balance. The next one is deep relaxation and mood lift. So for this, you're placing it on your navel stacked horizontally. So this is stacked, they're stacked horizontally, and this is stacked vertically. So the configuration is to hold the yang front facing outwards and the yin front facing inwards. You can get some velcro straps that are available in the store and you can just velcro them together so they'll kind of stay together in that position. Or you can just hold them like this in front of your navel. Other effects that you may feel is refreshing, feeling good vibes, comfortable, happy heart, and heat spreading around your body. The next one is really great for deep sleep. So now we're stacking them vertically with the yang on top front facing down and the yin on bottom front facing down. So this is the configuration. You can hold it in front of your navel. You can place it in front of you on your desk or on the floor if you're sitting on the floor. So some other effects you'll feel is ultra relaxation, sinking, sleepy, but with a really clear mind. So let's move on to the next three configurations, meditation and consciousness expansion. So this is awesome when you want to achieve higher and deeper levels of meditation. How this works is you want the yang coil behind you and the yin coil in front of you. The yin coil will be facing away from your body and the yang coil, the front, will be facing away from your body, so facing backwards. Other effects you will feel is expanded awareness, heightened senses, tension release, and heat spreading around your body. Here's another one that's easy to configure. And it's great if you're using it for school, for learning, for your kids, or for work, because this provides motivation and focus. And how it works is you want to have the yin coil front facing up, kind of to your left in front of you, and the yang coil facing downwards, a little bit to the right of you, you can simply put this on a desk in front of you, or if you're sitting on the floor, you can put it on the floor in front of you. And the other effects are feeling awake, shifting into task, a sense of urgency and productivity. So this is what I like to do when I'm working on my computer. I just place it in that configuration on the desk in front of me, and I'm getting energy, focus, and motivation throughout the day. So the final one is ultra-centered. Once again, this is stacked vertically, which means you're stacking them like this. Yang coil on top, front downwards, and the yin coil on the bottom, front upwards. Other effects you'll feel is awake, clarity, focus, and balance. So there you have it. I gave you six ways of placing the single yin coil, and I gave you six other configurations of using the yin and the yang coils together. So I hope you learned a lot from this video. I look forward to hearing from you in the comments about the results you're getting with these different configurations. Now, if you find another configuration that works really well for you, feel free to share it with the community in the comments. Use the chi and prosper.